Well, the results are rolling in for the 2020 Washington primaries. Tonight we are tracking several top races here locally and across the state with candidates hoping to move on to the November general elections. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for being here tonight. I'm Whitney Ward. It's good to have you here with us. I'm Tim Pham. We have complete team coverage tonight. We'll go through everything from election results to candidate parties to how the pandemic is changing the elections this year. Let's get right into the election results, though. This will decide which candidates will move forward to November's general election. Starting with the governor's race, Jay Inslee will advance to the November elections. Lauren Culp is currently in second, but as of now, it's still too early to call. A crowded field, there are 36 gubernatorial candidates on the ballot this year. If Governor Inslee wins in November, he will be the second person since Washington became a state to be a third term governor. Next, Kathy McMorris Rogers is advancing tonight for Washington's 5th Congressional District. That covers much of eastern Washington, including 10 counties. She is followed by Dave Wilson. And statewide, the race for Lieutenant Governor Denny Heck is projected to win, followed by Marco Leas, the current Lieutenant Governor. Cyrus Habib announced earlier this year he would vacate his seat to join the clergy. And in the race for Spokane County Board of Commissioners this year, the seat representing District 1 and 2 are up for election. Right now, Josh Kearns is projected to win for District 1. And right now for District 2, Spokane County Commissioner seat, Mary Cooney leading the race against David Green. Currently, two seats are up for Washington's 4th Legislative District, which covers most of East Spokane County, including Spokane Valley and Liberty Lake in the state legislature. For seat one, Lori Fagan is leading Bob McCaslin. And for seat two, currently it is a close call between Lance Gruel and Rob Chase, with Lance leading in the polls. We also want to take a look at some of the top statewide races, beginning, of course, with Governor Jay Inslee, who is trying to hold on to his seat. As Tim just said, he would like to be the next third term governor here in Washington. Also trying to hold on to her seat is Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers, both obvious heavy favorites to go into this primary. With, uh, it is expected that they will get the majority of the vote this evening. But the bigger question, of course, tonight is who will they be facing in the November general election? For more on the analysis, there we are turning to Casey Decker live tonight. Casey. Yeah, you guys said Seymour poised to move on and retain her seat, and that's not really a surprise to anybody at this point. It's been a pretty safe red seat ever since she's taken it last time in 2018. The Democrats ran Lisa Brown and they ran her hard and she got as close as anyone's come to beating CMR, but they still came up short. So this year right now they've got Dave Wilson here with 24% of the vote. Now he's run for the seat twice before as an independent. This time he's running as a Democrat. So as far as it goes for Democrats, not necessarily the most effort they've ever put into this race, getting a per perennial candidate who only recently identified with the party. Now, they did kind of dodge a bullet here. You see Chris Armitage here with 14%. He was re leading a pretty strong campaign, but that campaign faltered. He actually dropped out of the race, so they are avoiding now a scenario where a candidate with who's no longer in the race is advancing to the general election. So Dave Wilson and CMR right now looking to advance to the general. Now, in the race for Washington governor, we talked about Jay Inslee, 52%. Again, not a big surprise there to see the incumbent leading in that race. Then we have Lauren Culp, the police chief from Republic Washington. He led a surging grassroots movement to overtake some pretty big names. Joshua Freed, Tim Iman, Raul Garcia, Phil Fortunato. These are all guys who had more political experience, sometimes more money and sometimes better endorsements. But Lauren Culp, leading a grassroots movement right now. He looks like he's going to be the Republican to advance into November. So a pretty impressive showing from him in this election. All right, Casey, thank you very much. 